நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் என்ன ஒரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் ப்ராட் யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டமல் வீடியோ ஆஃப் அ ரெனவுண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி த லிங்க் ஆஃப் த ஒரிஜினல் வேர்ஷன் தட் இஸ் த டமல் வீடியோ இஸ் கிவன் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ This is Astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In this video, I am going to explain a natal chart where the native lives a successful life whereas his ascendant lord is weak and his Rashi delivers all the benefits. I am going to give you the natal charts of few VIPs. This might even go controversial. I'm going to give you an original chart to explain the concept that even though the ascendant lord is weak, still the people lives a successful life because the Rashi leads their life. I had given the natal chart of an IAS officer as an example in my book which is titled as ஜோதிடம் என்னும் ஒரு மகா அற்புதம் விச் இஸ் எட் டு பி பப்ளிஷ்ட் இன் த வெரி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சாப்டர் ஆஃப் திஸ் புக் ஐ ஹாவ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் திஸ் கான்செப்ட் ஐ எம் நாட் கோயிங் டு கிவ் த டேட் ஆஃப் பர்த் ஆஃப் த ஹாரோஸ்கோப் தட் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்பிளே பட் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த பிளானட்டரி பொசிஷன் ஹவ் எவர் யூ கேன் ஐடென்டிஃபை த டேட் ஆஃப் பர்த் The motivation of publishing this video is to explain the fact that how people can live a very very successful life though their ascendant lord is weak what does it mean when i say that ascendant or ascendant lord loses its strength yes i hear all the correct answers from my students lagna lord getting the connection of 6th house lord or 8th house lord or when the lagna lord is debilitated losing the sthana bala or conjunction of ascendant with malefic planets or considered as probable cause for ascendant weakness the ascendant lord even can be in 6th house or 8th house or 12th house to the ascendant house There are certain natal charts where Rashi leads the life of the native not based on the ascendant lord. Before explaining this chart let me ask a question. If a person has to work in the police department which planet should be strong? I hear the answers from all my students. I am very happy that you all said the right answer. Well, it is Mars and you all responded the correct answer unanimously. Did I ask a simple question? Well, for which ascendant it is more feasible? 
Well, I heard an answer from my student that it is native of Capricorn Ascendant. No, it is for native of Scorpio Ascendant. Then comes the native of Aries Ascendant. The first and foremost is the native of Scorpio Ascendant, then comes Aries. The reason behind this is a police officer should be very severe towards others. As soon as a police officer wears his uniform, this quality will definitely stick to him. Can an officer having a lot of mercy and grace lead or survive in the police department? It is not possible. The police department is a place where many convicted people have to be punished. Many criminals have to be punished. The 8th house Scorpio represents the places such as hidden places, bushy areas, the places where the scorpions and snakes live. Usually they live under the rocks or in the or away from the sight of others. That is hidden places. This is the reason Scorpio or the 8th house is called as hidden or sin house. The places where no herbs or plants grow like deserts, soil, mountains, barren lands or the poisonous living beings that live in the deserts gather together very happily in the house of Scorpio. The native of Scorpio Ascendant are very hard-hearted. The native of Aries Ascendant might be angry, but they are good-hearted. Those who are very hard-hearted have very deep thoughts. A criminal, despite any crucial situation, will be able to act or pretend. A criminal who had snatched the chain or the earrings of a person by even cutting the ears or hurting the other people physically will pretend as if he had not done any such crime. Only the people or the police officers in the police department will be able to know the challenges in their department. Others cannot realize the pain of the police officers. We the public will easily make a hasty judgment that all the policemen were corrupted by saying or by giving an example that a particular traffic police got a bribe of 100 rupees. Only those who work closely with the policeman know that the policeman has a good heart, a kind heart, a heart to punish criminals. Having said all these, if one has to be always with the criminals, then Mars will be the reason for that, whose daily duty itself is to meet the criminals every day, will definitely have a very hard heart. And Mars is the planet that delivers this. Even in my own natal chart, my ascendant lord is debilitated. Therefore, in my natal chart, only Rashi leads my life. I will try to convey the concepts as simple as possible. Please try to understand. One of our very famous politicians is led by Rashi in whose natal chart Ascendant Lord lost its strength. The natives will see benefits in later half of their life in whose natal chart Ascendant Lord lost its strength and Rashi leads. The title I'm going to explain is the natal chart where the ascendant lord lost its strength but still the native is very famous, successful and where Rashi leads. I don't remember the exact birth date but I know that the year is 1977. If you work a little you can find the date of birth. The native is Purada Nakshatra, that is Purvashada. This natal chart belongs to a higher range police officer. He holds a very high position in the police department. 
द बर्थ नक्षत्र इज पूराडम दैट इज पूर्वाषाढ़ा करंटली ही इज अंडर गोइंग दशा ऑफ राहु आई गेस इट इज अंतर दशा ऑफ जूपिटर आई वुड लाइक टू क्लैरिफाई समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हियर I never publish the natal charts of a person without their permission. Many higher officials like IAS officers or IPS officers volunteer or they are willing to publish their natal charts in the magazines for the benefit of others. Even when I'm publishing the natal chart of big politicians in Tamil Nadu, I ask definitely the permission that i'm publishing their natal charts for the purpose of research and in order to educate my students i have already given some information to which person this natal chart belongs he is a higher official in the police department he was born in 1977 so he is around like 44 or 45 years by the time this person gets retired he will become the highest official in the police department and then only he will retire for example let me say he will become dgp before his retirement i have given some basic information about this person this higher official he is an ips officer definitely he will grow as a dgp before his retirement if one has to work in the police department then mars should be strong in their natal chart first of all let me hear the highlights of this natal chart from you guys i want to hear answers from each of my students i don't want anybody to identify what yoga is in the natal chart I hear an answer Gajakesari yoga from one of my students the one who are listing out many yogas as answers will definitely take time to learn astrology this is my humble idea i hear multiple answers from my students well here it is subhatva mas aspects the sun i hear another answer from my student Saturn is in the quadrant of the moon dear student don't take it as saturn resides in quadrant to the moon rather you take it as saturn resides in quadrant to lagna well i hear an answer from another student sun is near the directional strength that is dikbala another student says that the eighth house is subhatva Well here is another answer sun and mercury are in parivartan i was really waiting that somebody will definitely say this response this police official has been only acquainted with me only for 2 to 3 years but based on my research i have written an article before 8 years that if rahu in virgo has to give benefits then its dispositor mercury should get exalted in virgo but mercury is in leo and sun is in virgo so mercury and sun should be in parivartan because rahu should not be in conjunction with an exalted planet i wrote that article in 2010 itself the subtlety of the astrological concept here is when rahu has to deliver benefits when it resides in virgo its house lord should be exalted whereas mercury gets exalted only in virgo in that case if rahu is in conjunction with mercury it is not good when mercury is in conjunction with rahu mercury will be totally spoiled therefore the dispositor of the virgo should gain strength indirectly what is the only possible way mercury can get its strength indirectly the only possible way is mercury and sun should be in parivartan you all said different answers but missed one point 
still you are missing one important point which I have reiterated many times in my videos. The important point in this natal chart is that the functional malafix are in quadrant to each other and the functional benefix are in quadrant to each other. This native is going to become a DGP, going to back the highest rank in the police department. This position is not an easy one. This native one day is going to become the head of one and half a lakh headcount in police force in Tamil Nadu. He is going to reach the topmost position in the police department and is going to become number one in his police department. The friendly planets are in quadrant to each other that is Moon is in the second house from Lagna. In the seventh house from the moon you can see Mars and Jupiter. And to the fourth house of Gemini you can see the sun. And the friendly planets of the opposite team that is Saturn, Mercury and Venus are in the quadrant itself. That is they reside in the same house that is Leo. Now you can realize that my concept of Subhatva is fulfilled here. Mars is the planet which has the highest Subhatva in this chart. Based on the concept of my Subhatva, I have mentioned how to choose or how to identify the profession of a person. Based on the planet which has got the highest Subhatva, a person's profession will be decided. In this natal chart, Mars has got the highest Subhatva. You can apply this concept in any chart. My concept of Subhatva will apply 100% perfectly. Astrological predictions should be definite. There should be no probability here. Have I ever mentioned in my videos that there is a chance or there is a probability? Never. My predictions are very definite that I will say that this is possible and this is not possible. In case if I say there is a possibility, then definitely I will analyze that chart deeply how it will be done. The highlight of the chart in this natal can also be seen in the natal chart of the ex-chief minister, Mr. Muthuvel Karnanidhi. The natal chart of ex-chief minister, Mr. Muthuvel Karnanidhi, is such an auspicious one. In his natal chart, the friendly planets will be in quadrant to each other and the enemies will be in 6-8 axis to each other. It is such a beautiful and auspicious natal chart. This is why we call Mr. Karnanidhi as the most significant person in Tamil Nadu politics. He is one among 10 crore people. Let us not see this politically and rather with an eye of an astrologer. I am very very happy that I lived during his period and I could experience and realize the effects of the planets in his natal chart. I am happy that he lived during my period and he lived a life which can prove all the astrological concepts formulated by our great Maharishis and sages to be true. It is truly a classical example of Raja Yoga. I can even display the natal chart of ex-chief minister Kalinjar Karunanidhi. In the natal chart of Kalinjar Karunanidhi, the friendly planets will be in quadrant to each other and the enemy planets will be in 6-8 axis to each other. It is an extremely auspicious natal chart. Once in blue moon, these sorts of people were born in this world. You might ask a question, 
whether no other child was born exactly at the same time? Please get me such natal charts of people who were born at the very same time. When Mr. Karnanidhi was born, there will be definitely certain differences. Now let me come to the natal chart of this police officer. The ascendant is Scorpio and the functional benefits to the native of Scorpio ascendant are Sun, Moon, Jupiter and Mars. And these friendly planets which are functional benefics to the native of Scorpio ascendant are in quadrant to each other. And the functional malefics to the native of Scorpio ascendant are in quadrant to each other. The functional malefics are Mercury, Venus and Saturn and they reside in a quadrant. I usually mention the point that functional malefics should reside in the quadrant house in its friendly house. The functional malefic should reside in the 3rd or 6th or 10th or 11th house that is Upajayasthanas with friendly house status to give beneficial effects. In this natal chart, Mercury alone is in its most friendly house as it considers the Sun as its best friend. And moreover, Sun and Mercury are in Parivartan with each other. So the native was number one in education. Since his childhood, he had won the first rank like district first, state first, etc. He was the gold medalist continuously in his educational days. If you look at the history of education of this police officer, you can see that he had got school first, district first, and he has won many gold medals. He was born in the nakshatra of Puradam, that is Purvashada. This police officer is known to me only recently. But I had mentioned these concepts some 10 years before, around 2011. Now you can see the natal chart where those concepts can be applied perfectly. And in my article Mahadana Yoga, I said, if a person has to be born as native of Scorpio ascendant, then the person has to be born in the Janma Nakshatra of Puram and Magam, that is Purva Falguni or Maga, whose planet lords are Venus and Ketu respectively. And definitely the person has to enjoy the Dasha of Sun and Moon. This is the perfect example to prove the concept and currently this person is undergoing the Dasha of Rahu which is in conjunction with Sun. He will get retired during the Dasha of Jupiter. Please don't factor in the points that the planets are residing in the 6th or 8th house here. When a traditional astrologer notices this natal chart, he will say that Ascendant Lord is in the 8th house. This person is not fit for anything. Because the general rule is when the Ascendant Lord is in 8th house to the Ascendant house, it is not considered to be good. And in this natal chart, the Ascendant Lord Mars is in the 8th house to its own house. It is not considered to be good when Ascendant Lord is in 6th or 8th house or 12th house. The concept of this video is the natal chart where the Ascendant Lord lost its strength but still the native leads a very successful life because the Rashi leads. This is why I put forward a question at the very beginning of this video that what would you consider by saying that Ascendant Lord is weak? You said that debilitation of Ascendant Lord or when Ascendant Lord is in 6th house or 12th house and thus becoming weak. What is the subtlety behind the concept that when a planet resides in 8th house? Now you have to bring my concept of Subhatwa. 
in case let us say instead of jupiter mars conjunction if jupiter rahu or in conjunction with mars in 8th house then this person would definitely not be an ips officer so graha subhatva and pabatva concepts alter the effects of the planets in this natal chart there is a good distance between rahu and sun in the house of virgo it will be 13 degrees apart currently rahu dasha is happening what will rahu deliver here what will rahu do rahu acts like a planet with which it is in conjunction and here it is with the sun and therefore it gives a leading position in the police department this person is born to lead others and to be in an authoritative position now in this natal chart you can see sun is in the 10th house to the moon that is based on rashi please never say that sun has got directional strength it is not true please don't take the directional strength based on the position of moon please never make that mistake the pancha mahapurusha yoga can only occur for the ascendant this cannot be applied for moon rashi you should not consider certain points based on rashi well i will share one very important point here though ascendant lord becomes weak and rashi leads the effects will be delivered according to the ascendant this is the most important point please try to memorize this very well the events will happen according to lagna the major planetary period and minor planetary period will happen according to the ascendant i just now told that rahu major planetary period is happening to him i have already told him that in his natal chart moon leads on the effects of the natal horoscope he mentioned that he had read many of my articles i would like to share one of my experience here as well an official who is higher than the official of this natal chart is very keen in reading my articles and he has a dedicated police constable in order to translate my tamil speech into english and the most beautiful part is he doesn't know tamil much he has appointed a person to translate all the articles as soon as it gets published in malay malar in a broken language at least he tries to translate from tamil to english within 2 or 3 hours of publication he regularly reads my articles how come this person got interested in astrology did you notice something whatever natal charts i show such natals are also interested in astrology because only those interested in astrology meets me personally and without their permission i have never published their natal charts now let me put forward the question why this ips officer got interested in astrology it is because of the parivartan of mercury and the most significant point is mercury gets exalted in the quadrant house to the moon now do you understand my concept mercury is in the quadrant house to the moon and moreover it is exalted as well this is the truth behind why he got interested in astrology and his mercury is exalted and it resides in the quadrant house to the moon this is the reason that why he is extremely studious in education he got school first state first etc his lagna is weak yet the natal reflects the ascendant i am a gemini ascendant mercury is nichabanga and i am sagittarius rashi 
Though in my natal chart Lagna Lord is weak and Moon leads the life, my profession itself is related to the significance of Mercury, which is writing, astrology, etc. I said that when Lagna Lord loses its strength, the Rashi will lead the life. I mean, the Moon Rashi will lead the life. But the character of a person will be based on Lagna. Here the native is Sagittarius Rashi. Is he an ascetic? No, he is not an ascetic. His profession relates to the significance of Mars, which is a police officer. I already mentioned that Mars denotes hard-hearted man. Now let me make a small change. Let Mars and Rahu reside in Gemini. What would be the profession of this native? Well, one of my students says it's rowdy. Can anybody else try this bit closer? Yes, one of my students said the correct answer. It is chef. The highest pabatwa will make the native a rowdy. Well, I am very, very happy. I would like to take one hour class extra when my students make excellent predictions based on the concepts that I explain. When the planet loses Subhatva, for example, when the planet lo loses its Subhatva completely and becomes Pabhatva, it makes a native to become a rowdy here. When there is least Subhatva, the person works as chef who dominantly works in fireplace, which is the significance of Mars. The native will earn his bread, whose profession is related to the significance of Mars. More the Subhatva, higher the rank in his professional life. Mars and Jupiter are within 8 degrees. Okay, let me change the natal chart as before. Before lunch, I explain the aspect of the planets. In this natal chart, Moon and Jupiter are exactly 180 degrees apart. What could be the Tithi? Can you guess it? No, it is not Ashtami or Dashami. It is Navami. The Tithi between Ashtami and Dashami. When Moon entered this house, it was Ashtami. The first day of this Rashi is Mula Nakshatra. If it is Puradam, then it is Navami. Astrology sometimes makes us feel guilty when we don't understand the very basic points. You have to make quick points that when Moon is straight opposite to the Sun, it is Purnima. Moon takes two and quarter days to traverse each Rashi and after Amavasya, it travels 14 days and on the 15th day, it is Purnima. When moon enters Sagittarius, the Titi is Ashtami and when it leaves the Rashi, it will be the beginning of Dashami. On the 9th day, the waxing moon has light energy to a certain extent. Now let me change the position of the moon. And let us say the moon resides in Capricorn and is heading towards the full moon. Then what will be the profession of this natal? The ascendant Lord Mars is in the 8th house to its own house and more the light energy of the moon, more the higher status of profession. For example, the person will have worked like major general or army minister or even De Minister of Defense Affairs of the country, Major General, etc. He will not be working as DGP of Tamil Nadu and he will go out of the state. Or even if he is working as DGP, he might work for the central government or he might work in the army uh, because a higher rank in the army needs more Subhatva than a post in state government. In the natal chart of this police officer, Mars and Jupiter will be exactly 180 degrees opposite to the moon. 
and the difference in degrees between Mars and Jupiter is 8 degrees. This indicates a higher level of Subhatva. By the grace of God, I am at least in a position where I can examine the natal charts of higher officials. I am blessed to analyze the natal chart of kings, rulers of Tamil Nadu, etc. And one among you will also definitely get a chance to do such research. When we look at the natal chart of a person, especially this higher official's natal chart, we should definitely find which is the most significant factor that made him a higher police official. The most significant reason is the aspect of the moon which is exactly 180 degrees opposite to Mars and Jupiter. Let us assume that moon resides at 16, 17 or 18 degrees in Sagittarius. Mars resides at the very same 16 or 17 degrees in Gemini. This proves the logic of concept of Subhatva, indeed more Subhatva. The only shortcoming here is Jupiter is in the 8th house. In case if the native is Sagittarius ascendant, what could be his profession? The police officer used to discuss with me that if he was Sagittarius ascendant, he would have chosen the profession of police department. I told him, in contrary to that, that if he was born as native of Sagittarius ascendant, he would have become an ascetic. I told definitely that he would not be a police officer at all. Even a week before we had an argument. He had a different perspective that if he was born as Sagittarius Ascendant, then Jupiter and Mars are in the quadrant house to its own house. I explained and clarified that if only he was born as the native of Scorpio Ascendant, whose house lord is Mars, he is inclined to become a police officer. In case if he was born as native of Sagittarius Ascendant, he will work in a field where he can invest his knowledge. He would have become a managing director of a company, a blue collar job where he works in such a serene atmosphere, an air conditioned room, who is also very very kind hearted. He would have chosen definitely the profession signified by Jupiter. A lagna will indicate the characteristics of a person and the profession of a person. You can all discuss with each other. Whatever ascendant lord is yours, definitely you will reflect the character of that ascendant. Depending on Subhatva and Pabhatva of the Ascendant Lord, your character will change. Let me ask one of my students, Sir, which Ascendant are you? Well, you are native of Mithuna Ascendant, that is Gemini Ascendant. May I know your profession? You see, he is an astrologer. He works related to the field which is signified by Mercury. His ascendant lord is in the most friendly house in Leo and whose nakshatra lord is Ketu. When a person is native of Gemini ascendant, then definitely the native chooses the profession that is signified by the ascendant lord which is Mercury. What will be the person's profession? When your ascendant lord Mercury is Subhatva, definitely you will choose the profession related to significance of Mercury, whatever it is. In case, let us say, your ascendant lord is Pabhatva, then you have to check which planet has got highest Subhatva in your natal chart. Whatever the profession is, definitely you will reflect the ascendant lord. We usually say that if one is born as a native of Jupiter ascendant, uh, like a Sagittarius or a Pisces ascendant, then the person will be innocent. 
If one is born as Gemini ascendant or Virgo ascendant, then the person will be very intelligent. When a person is born as native of Capricorn ascendant or Aquarius ascendant, whose house lord is Saturn, then the person will be definitely selfish, deceitful, sophist. Based on Subhatva and Pabhatva of the ascendant lord, Saturn, these characters will be more or less. If one is born as Cancer Ascendant, whose Ascendant Lord is Moon, then definitely the person will be in a leading position who has also got social connection with the people. If one is born as Native of Leo Ascendant, then this person will also be a leader with arrogance. If one is born as Native of Scorpio Ascendant or Aries Ascendant, whose house lord is Mars, then these people will be a good security to other people and serve as protector of the people. When one is born as native of Taurus ascendant or Libra ascendant, whose house lord is Venus, what will happen? These people will enjoy their life. Yeah, they work in the art industry. People wants to work in the art industry or cinema industry for the fame they get from the cinema industry. Cinema industry is not a place to serve others. This is the fact. If you ask the wife of the producer, you will definitely know this. I have seen many such natal charts. How Dasha and Antar Dasha, that is, major planetary period and minor planetary period will happen when ascendant lord is weak and rashi leads the life when ascendant lord is weak the major planetary period and minor planetary period that is dasha and antar dasha will happen according to lagna the native will reflect definitely the characteristics of the ascendant lord and Rashi leads the life. Imagine that Ascendant and Rashi are two rails of a railway track. A planet should not lose its own natural effects or natural karakatwa. Yesterday I saw a great confusion in your faces while I was explaining the graha significance and the house effects. I have written an article in 2011 itself that many people are confusing two different concepts which are house effects and significance of a planet. Please try to learn all these as I see many of my students have great confusion with these two. Even one of my students asked me whether the house effect is important, more important or significance is important. Yesterday one of you asked me such a question in class. In order to clarify your doubt, I said that Kendra Dipatyam is the house effect of the quadrant which will function throughout the life whereas Kendra Dipati, lord of the quadrant, will function only during the Dasha. For beginners, these are the topics where they get fumbled, where they get confused and even few professional astrologers have challenges regarding this. In this natal chart, the friends are in quadrant to each other which is the most significant feature. Once I have mentioned the importance of Graha Malika Yoga. Do you remember what I said about it? When the planet does not lose its own natural effect, it is considered to be good. When there is concept of yoga given in the original dictum, I will start to think about the subtlety of specifying that yoga or the intricacy behind it. When I hear a yoga called Gajakesari Yoga, then I will definitely start to think about what is that. What does the word Gajakesari Yoga comes to say? 
What is Gaja? What is Kesari? Why does this yoga helps the native to win an enemy? What is the reason behind these concepts? Indeed, I have a different perspective regarding this yoga. Rather saying that this native will win his enemy, I will put forward a point that this native will have an enemy. Well, let us come to the point of Graha Malika Yoga. This is a perfect example of Graha Malika Yoga. Sometimes I don't agree with this concept because in this natal chart you can see it is Kala Sarva Dosha. There is no such thing called Kala Sarva Dosha. When they are not able to prove the technical knowledge of the field, some astrologists make use of these terms Kala Sarpa Dosha, etc. Indeed, there is no such dosha. And you would have come across many points which list out a lot of yoga, dosha. What I have displayed here is a perfect example of Graha Malika Yoga. I have already mentioned in my article that Mercury should not be aspected by Jupiter. If Mercury gets aspected by Jupiter, one cannot be good astrologer because if Jupiter aspects Mercury, one can become a prophecy teller and he cannot be called as an astrologer. Their predictions will get realized by chance, not by complete astrological knowledge. There are many people who make a hundreds of predictions out of which two or three becomes true. Whereas 98% of the predictions would have gone wrong. When Mercury is alone without any connection to any other planet, then the astrologer will make predictions completely based on the knowledge of rules and exceptions taught in Vedic astrology. If in anybody's natal chart you see Mercury and Jupiter combination, definitely the person will be a prophecy teller, not an astrologer. Once a very famous astrologer said personally to me that what he says or what he writes is astrology and what he predictions is the prediction. It is the fate of the client to believe it and he does not bother whether the client comes again to visit him or leaves once for all. This is the practicality. Even I would like to make a change here. This is not true. Graha Malika, let me change the position of Saturn. Because if I draft like this, Saturn will aspect Ketu. Even if I make Saturn to reside in Scorpio, still it will definitely aspect Leo by its 10th aspect. Of course, we can't avoid these. Saturn should not aspect any planet by its 3rd or 7th aspect or 10th aspect. Jupiter should not aspect any other planet by its 5th aspect, 7th aspect or 9th aspect. In this natal chart except Saturn, no other planet aspects any other planet. Therefore, here a lot of planets are without any connection to any other planet and they stay unique. When a planet does not give a composed effect but gives the effects based on its very natural significance then the native is considered to be fortunate. Every human being needs all the nine planets. We have the influence of all the nine planets in our body. We definitely need the effect of all the Navagrahas. Among these, which should be strong and which should be weak? The Ascendant Lord should be strong, the functional benefics must be strong and the functional malefics must be weak. But merely with the help of four planets, we cannot live a life. When nine planets are alone without influence of any other planet, almost shown as in the natal chart, it is considered to be good. 
even though the position of venus is not good here in the chart shown venus should be alone if a native was born with such graha malika yoga then he is considered to be fortunate please observe this natal chart that is what i call a spiral galaxy when rahu and ketu is in 612 axis then the person will even live a better life if you see the natal chart with such yoga then you will definitely see rahu and ketu will be in 612 axis this is the subtlety behind the concept of graha malika yoga the planets of the graha malika yoga will not be in conjunction with any other planet and will not get aspected by any other planet the planets can aspect bhava but it should not aspect another planet if there is an aspect on planets by another planet there are both benefits and shortcomings well let us come back to the natal chart of the ips officer instead of the aspect of moon on mars and jupiter suppose if saturn aspects mars and jupiter what will happen in this case what will happen to mars and jupiter they will become pabatva they will not deliver any benefit the ascendant lord itself is aspected by saturn there is no more yoga in this chart if this is the combination the person will not be definitely a skilled person there will be no discipline as well this person will have no character so whatever the planet is when it is as it is naturally without alteration of karagatva then it becomes yoga when there is an aspect or conjunction based on the significance of the planet and its house lordship you have to make predictions well this is question time when ascendant lord loses its strength in a natal chart can the native live a successful life or not justify your answers and please write your answers in the comment section of this video in the description box we have added the playlist link of all the english videos so far published the link of aditya guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both ios and android users the link of google play store app is also given in the description box that is available only for android users the tamil version of this video is also available please check the description box write your feedback to astro.write to us@gmail.com thank you